Welcome to the Bad Movie Night Podcast, covering the worst movies you've never seen. We hope you enjoy listening to Bad Movie Night Podcast. Welcome back to the Bad Movie Night Podcast. My name is Chris. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. We have checked out the 1988 muscle-riddled action film starring <laughs> one Dolph Lundgren, which is, of course, the Red Scorpions. Sense a wind of change. This one. One scorpion. And I didn't make a trailer, so we're going to wing this, but here we go. You can't need you to wear the shortest short spot. Yes, blow up just the Soviet flag. That's pretty good. Pretty much nailed it. Oh, oh my God, that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, high effort for 2024, yeah. remember? Yeah, bad. High yeah. positivity, guys. We <laughs> are back, guys. This is Spib's birthday wheel. He spun the wheel. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Spib. I'm an old man now. Spib, what'd you do on your birthday? Um, you, like a colonoscopy or some shit? I sat at my house and ate some dinner. Is that really all you did? Do you have company over? No, oh my God. Uh, let's see. On my birthday. Oh, God. This is going to be a long thing. I <laughs> no, know. I don't think I did, actually. He's 42 now. He doesn't remember what he did yesterday. No? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, is someone we should have grabbed now? a beer or something, God, man. 42. I'm sorry. Boy, no. I'm still recovering from getting sick. Dude, if I don't just yeah. right, fuck you, stay with me. I don't even know what I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be that old. Like, coffee's not even going to be around by then. <laughs> right? Whatever AJ says. No, it's going to be gone. No snow. <laughs> no That's snow. Four and a half gone. years. You can't drink the water. You're going to be fine. What are you going to do? Yeah. I'll be like living on the street of Harrisburg or something. Sad. I can't remember. Yeah, you won't be able to afford it, man. Yeah. I'll just be mm. peddling. What is it called when you put the thing up for cash? Meth? Pawn? Pawn? <laughs> no, what is it? Hash bro? Panhandling. Panhandling. Hash bro? Yeah, you can make like hash bro? Bro? We're doing that. I don't know. Hash yeah. bro? Is hash that browns, a- man. Hash <laughs> browns. <laughs> we'll work for hash browns. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. I mean, I'm really? fat. I would work for hash browns. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Um, hand jobs and hash man. browns. There you go, Chris. So, Spit, happy birthday. Thanks. I mean, I hope you had a great birthday <laughs> i think i did i don't know remember. i got this cool hat from my sister it's like a, a winter hat but it has a light in the front of it oh nice. that's amazing nice like you do cave diving with it I, I, maybe kinky Spelunky? stuff Spelunky? <laughs> yes yeah, it, it, yeah maybe oh shit parkour I, right? I don't have the wheel on this computer <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm on my laptop. We know what we're watching. We're watching a John Cusack film. Yeah, we already decided. Drive crazy. Drive hard. Drive hard. (laughs) One of those. (laughs) Um, Okay. Working out all the kinks. If you weren't here for the pre-show or before the show started, we have switched platforms from StreamYard to Restream. Yeah. Because if you had noticed, especially like last episode, but it keeps happening with Mm -hmm. the podcast where there's like this digital... I don't know. Oh. Garble. Garble. Lots of drop packets. Awful. Drop packets are dropped left and right. Uh, birds heads are falling off. The shit was a mess. So we're trying. I actually this- got to watch the opening video. I've, that works I've never seen you? the new one. I before. Think it went from like <laughs> two frames per second to like six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so watch it now. We see her move in real time. <laughs> Three more platforms from now and she'll actually be in almost normal film speed. Yeah, it's still work. running Windows 7. So. Seven. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Oh boy on the internet. He's... Aaron, I like your new blue background. How'd you do that? I have uh, some blue lights on the wall. It's a I blue light special. I nice. have blue lights under my desk, and then I have this cool new strip, like a neon strip thing on the wow. top of my desk. Mm. Which is I like that. 
It's um, kind of fun to just sit here and like play guitar and shit in the dark. AJ, the AJ's got his like hobo. Kind <laughs> yeah, of mine's look going worse. On. <laughs> mine's falling apart. Which is, no, but it's great for your character because you. Yeah. It's extra Where's bright. Cardboard box. Aaron thing. has some good production cardboard. value. Rebecca all, has oh. always had this large depth of field, which works mm-hmm. for her. It really Lindsay's does. Got all the movies. Yeah. So if you need to do something, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I got, the, got the white wall with the, the guitars. The white wall. Yes. It's my it's my look, guys. With the it's monitor a, light shining on my face. Off. It is a rough one, but it's <laughs> that's what you want to go with. <laughs> Smith, when you go home, do you have like the most bright lights in your house and shit? Like, I swear to God. No, no, my house is so dark. I love like darker ambient lighting. Yeah. Much I, more nah, I wish I had more lights. Yeah, no, I don't thanks. like sitting in the dark. I love sitting in the dark. I don't want to see people. <laughs> one of my like jobs. Cave, right? One of my jobs, the whole IT department, like sitting in the dark. So like the whole room was the lights were oh, off and yeah, my lights always. Everyone off. just had their desk lamp lamps. Yeah. I only do half lights in my classroom. Mm. But do you do hash browns? Mm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> panhandling. Have you tried it? <laughs> only on Thursdays. <laughs> Actually, they do bring breakfast to my classroom. So yes, there are. What, hash browns. what, a, what a kind of breakfast do they? What bring? the fuck? I'm coming. Is it pancakes? <laughs> Yeah. They don't eat breakfast in the cafeteria. They pick it up and bring it up to the classroom. So I constantly oh, have like oh, nice. juice spilled on the floor. On the floor. And That's like you, get the free, you get free smith. breakfast though? That's like a witchcraft. Do I set. get free breakfast? Yeah. No. Oh. You steal it from the kids? I get free. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> She she's to not. Me. She's not admitting to that. They weren't going to eat it. <laughs> it's like not on camera. She said she didn't want it. I would eat their. I would eat their leftover trash. <laughs> One of my coworkers was like, "Anytime anybody doesn't want their milk, I'll take it." So he just has his little mini fridge filled with milk. Ew. AJ, that goes against your narrative in the pre-show about no one wanting milk anymore. What milk is delicious? My, my narrative is true. <laughs> I want milk. With uh, my farmers are going bankrupt. <laughs> Uh, milk is gross, Aaron. You always were a freak. Milk is not gross. Shit. I just can't drink it. I have to get the. People are scared drink, of milk. They don't Aaron would drink milk free. all the time. We'd like be out playing basketball and come in and be like, "I want some milk." No, I did not. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> yeah, warm <laughs> glass of milk. <laughs> I I there was that one time we were at the, at the cabin and we were leaving and they're like, we have this gallon of milk that needs to go. And I'm like, <laughs> I think that's why I became lactose intolerant. <laughs> I'm going to sit in the hot car for a few yeah. hours. Now. Chug some buttermilk. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I think milk with like Oreos or I guess in cereal, but that's basically it. Yeah. That's what's wrong with that. That's perfect. I don't know. I don't Milk's ever just drink itself. milk. Neither That's do gross. I. You got to have it with stuff. Now nah, you would always drink it. I remember <laughs> I lived with you for a long time. You would just drink it. You're a freak. And what kind of milk though? Is it is it whole skin? Yeah, it's whole. Like, it's whole. Yeah. I can't. I I get the lactose free thick. stuff. Lactate. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, almond. Core core life makes all right. Filter. And now we're done with the the banter. <laughs> banter is done. Cut milk off. does the body talk. good. Chris. No more milk talk. No more milk talk. AJ. <laughs> no milk. The time has come. You saw the man, his shorty shorts, his muscles <laughs> rippling with sweat, perspiration, they manliness were. dripping from every nip. Tell me <laughs> what the 1988... What the fuck, man? What? Mm-hmm. I'm just saying what happened in the movie. We all <laughs> Is just that wrong? accurate representation? It's yeah. Yeah. sweat. <laughs> AJ, what is Red Scorpion about? The Russians are losing the fight in Africa. Oh, uh, comrade, comrade. So they send in their top assassin to kill the rebel leader. I am Duff. That's not My I will break you. But Duff hard. must learn the Bushman ways. <laughs> I'm not a good hunter. <laughs> will he kill every man in the desert? Maybe. <laughs> or end up just doing acupuncture with the Cubans? <laughs> <laughs> I do 40 of these. Find out in the 1988 action classic that is Red Scorpion. 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 Down at Gonky Park. (laughs) That's pretty good, right? That's right. Sound just like him. You got the nose thing. Do you like a dolphin cane? (laughs) That's pretty good, too. Oh, I should pull that bumper. I'll have the old (laughs) Scorpion. Oh, no, I do. We'll do that one tonight. Nice. Uh, AJ, that was a great premise whole section. You're welcome. Uh, now it is time to move on and do the history hole starring Aaron and away we go. (laughs) 
Nice. <coughs> Man, if Dolph's you, eyes look like that. You got to do the fake eyeball thing, Aaron. <laughs> What's, What's that? Fake oh, I should do that. Oh, okay, yeah, hold on. Let me turn that on. All right, so if we go into oh NVIDIA God. Broadcast, we can make <laughs> eye contact. Oh forced eye contact. Oh, it's so oh, creepy. Oh, ah, I hate you it. have no pupils. I am looking to the left. I'm looking down. Forced eye contact. I'm looking up. Uh, it's AI. AI. It's like clockwork orange. It's, you turn it on when you're at work and they can't tell you're not looking at what you're doing. That is badass, actually. I am, I am, I am looking at the TV across from that's my amazing. head. I think you need to mirror your screen. That's amazing. Oh, oh, that's oh, great, Aaron. That's great. Creepy, I love it. They're so off. googly. All right, we're leaving it on. Okay. Well. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'm not. Pretty if cool. there's anything I want to be in life, <clears throat> googly. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so much brighter now. Okay, this is the Dolph special known as Red Scorpion. It was released in Italy in October 25th, 1988. It was later had its uh, video premiere in 1990 in the UK, and it also came out on Blu-ray in hmm. South Africa in October of 2017. Okay. 2017 Wait. okay oh the trauma because i saw trauma like yeah the- trauma yeah, so it yes. wasn't a trauma production no right? of course not. no they just, way, they it was just way too good to for that, that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah no there's no way it was trauma at all it had a budget of eight million dollars but ended up costing 16 million bucks what was because they blew everything up they, <laughs> they, they blew up the budget that's for damn sure right? yeah they, they had behind. huge production delays at one point for three months the casting crew was stuck Boy. <laughs> in Johannesburg um, amazing. while they waited for a new filming location to be found. Mm. Um, they were planning to, planning to shoot in Swaziland originally, but it ended up being filled in Nam- Nam- Namibia. Jeez, I can't mm. talk right. Um, which was at that point ruled by South Africa. So it broke an international boycott against the country for apartheid. So Warner Brothers mm. washed their hands of this thing, basically, and pulled out from distribution of the film. Wow. If Warner Brothers knows how to do anything, it's how to pull out. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, you don't want to be associated with apartheid, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's a little messy. Oh, that's that's it's very fair. Late eighties. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, anyways, moving along. So, this, of course, stars our lovely friend Dolph, who is a Swedish man who often portray- portrays Russians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what that feels like for him or other Swedes. But... Isn't he like a particle yeah, physicist too? He is a genius uh, chemical level intellect. Engineer, yeah. Chemical engineer. Yeah. Chemical engineer. I think. Yeah. Who, who, he, was going to go to MIT and then Correct. decided to go acting instead. Instead, yeah. <laughs> Crazy, right? Solid yeah, decision. Out. He's fucking brilliant. And he was like a karate <laughs> world champion at the same time. <laughs> if, I just feel awful about myself re- hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's nothing he doesn't do. Yeah. It's it, better it than, like, it's everything. just better than me at everything. It's the Swedish education system. <laughs> Like I can't even think of a single thing I'd be better at than him. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Absolutely Photoshop, nothing. Maybe. Maybe. I doubt it. He's probably could figure that out. IT. <laughs> hmm? Maybe some IT. He's probably good at that too. He's Swedish. I don't know. Yeah, it's true. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means. All right, I just, might as well I, give up. Yeah, I just give up. Our director for this film, who probably doesn't have as creepy eyes as I do right now, is Joseph Zito. Mm-hmm. You probably don't know him from anything, but he directed Friday oh. the 13th, the final chapter. Yeah, the oh, final shit. Yeah. A couple other action movies, too, didn't he? Yeah. Yes, Missing in Action, Invasion USA. Yeah. yeah was Delta Darth Force Vigo. 1, The Lost Patrol, which is probably what? Delta Force 12. Get that Chuck Norris crap out of here. That was like, the, that was like, like Missing in Action top, 5. Yeah, that was like the top that. Chuck Norris movie, wasn't it? That was like the big one. Probably. Missing Missing Braddock? Action from 1985 yeah. or 1984. I think this is not that film. Oh no! It is the Chuck Naction. Chuck Naction. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck Naction. Naction. Yeah, that was like tough acting. Chuck yeah, that was Naction. One of his top ones. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. It's so like a Rambo first blood. It hit the box for up both. as well. Yeah, and also Blood Rage from 1980. Oh, sweet. The that? Thanksgiving. A movie? sexually frustrated young man kills hookers. On second thought, let's <laughs> not watch perfect. that. That might be fun. <laughs> really? It might, it might take place in uh, Sioux City. That might be fun. <laughs> It might be. You don't yeah, know. You, know. <laughs> you might end up in a river. You might love Iowa. <laughs> it's it's they Nebraska's problem now. Nebraska's <laughs> problem now. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So oh, this, this is Sean's also coming through. He put a copy of the wheel in the slack. Ah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sean trying to be patron of yep. the year again. Try to take back the title. He's trying to take it back. 
<laughs> All right. So our writers for this film, there were two people uh, that have the same names. We have Robert Abramoff and Jack Abramoff. Uh, Not yeah. great people. Yeah. yeah Jack Abramoff uh, basically only wrote this film. Same with Robert. They did produce things like Karate Masters, Beginning Martial Arts for Kids. And we're executive producer for Red Scorpion 2. I did not know there was a sequel. There's a sequel. Oh. Does not star Dolph. Oh. Who's a star? Hard pass. I can't remember. Oh, it, it's, uh, it's one it of the is... C-tier action people. Wasn't the... It is Matt, Matt Malcolm. That guy. <laughs> He's that the nightman. He nightman cometh. Nightman. He's the nightman. Did you talk about the producer, Aaron? <clears throat> not yet. The, the I didn't get that from <laughs> Yeah. Well, we also had one other writer, we had Arnie Olson, who uh, has written a bunch of things like Repeaters, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, um, Here's to Life, Cop and a Half, New Recruit, which stars, uh, I forget who that is, actually. Uh, yeah, Lou Diamond Phillips. We've got all sorts of crazy stuff. Relic Hunter, Grizzly Rage, Hybrid Repeaters. Grizzly Rage. Yep. Black Ice. Yeah, so, okay. So, yes, producer for this was... I forget, fuck. Uh, Our producer, AJ, was who? We have a bunch. Jack Abramoff, Robert Abramoff, Barney Cohen, Paul Erickson, Harmon Coslow, Moon Ying Lee. Yeah, Jack Abramoff. So he was... Yeah, didn't Abramoff go into politics then? Yes. He, was, he was, at the time, a, a lobbyist for the Republican Party and was kind of under the Reagan doctrine and made push for all this kind of stuff in Hollywood for anti-communist propaganda. Mm, he was like that makes attached sense. with that. So the, all this money came from anti-propaganda mm -hmm. communist background. Well, much stuff. like cool. many other people in <clears throat> his place, he in 2006 pleaded guilty to fraud, tax evasion, and conspiracy. Shocker. What? Was convicted for fraud and served three and a half years and seven months in a federal wow. prison. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yep, that's our government officials hard but, on people. But listen to this. Trickle down, guys. He was also teaching courses in public speaking and screenwriting to his fellow inmates and <laughs> instituted a popular movie night. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Back in favor. So we're going to have him on the pause. Fraud movie saying. night. <laughs> it's a crossover. <laughs> Prison movie night. <laughs> Shit, I lost my screen. Uh, okay, I wanted to go over a couple of the other covers. So the cover I have here is the Blu-ray cover. Okay. Which is it's pretty sweet cool. Cover. It's kind of weird having Dolph on there twice, though. Nah, it's perfect. Oh, yeah. It's like, there's, here's there's, me and my action figure. Well, I think he's three of them. Three, three of them. Yeah. Flying Jumping, there. too. Or is the one supposed to be Brian James? No. Uh, it's no. a shotgun, no. No, no. Nope. So we have that one. We have the VHS Ooh, that's cover. One. Oh, that's a good that's one. Cool. They think they can control nice. Think again. Uh, we have this one, which that looks really cool. weird, like but it's cool. Movie poster. Yeah, it looks more like a video game. It's an Nintendo game I like that version. his hair is glowing. Yeah. I'm really disappointed that they didn't have a cover that had uh, this guy on it. <laughs> <laughs> I was really surprised to see him in the film. If I'm being honest. <laughs> oh, yeah. He did look like Lindsey yeah. Graham now that you say that. So. Mm -hmm. God damn, this AI is creepy as shit. <laughs> Uh, and that's all I have for this history hole. I can't really <laughs> tell. Okay. Yeah. That's you can't tell natural. at all? No, it looks pretty uh -uh. good. Alright, I'm looking down right now. Yeah, we can tell. Yeah, we can see yeah. that. Yeah. Nah. I'm looking down right now. Now, you, you, no, you, you no. must be using not the AI thing, because it looks normal right now. No, it's no, not. it looks creepy. Nah, it looks great. Dude, Aaron looks, just looks back look. creepy normal. It's like a cartoon. It's creepy. Nice. Now it's looking weird. Yeah, and, you know, it um, it's, it's like not moving together. It's like in Roger Rabbit when Christopher Lloyd gets the cartoon eyes at the end. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's such a great movie. Dude, I went to go watch that <laughs> shit because that it awesome. said it was free on YouTube, and then I went on it, and it said it wanted me to pay, and I yeah. was upset about oh, that. Bait and switch. Oh. Yeah, because I wanted to watch that, and then I couldn't. They gotcha. Because mm. I gave all my last money to the goddamn person at the coffee shop for their twenty percent. <laughs> Fucking Jesus pour me a cup Christ. of fucking coffee, which Jesus is ridiculous. Bad. So yeah, anyways, what, what, what's, uh, this is going off rails, but what, what's people's tipping opinions if it's counter service like that? That's what I'm saying. We, we did this Bull. on the pre show already. Oh, we right. did? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Moving yeah. along. Moving along. I say move no. along. I say no. I say, yeah. I say yeah. yes if it's craft coffee. No. I hate coffee, so I, that would never apply to me. Well, I, right. would, I would happily pay more knowing that people get paid more. But half the time, the tips don't even go to the people that work there, so fuck that. Mm -hmm. 
No. All right. So moving along. All right. Thank you, Aaron, for the history. Oh, time to move on and talk about red <laughs> scorpions. Scorpions. Okay. Don't I have a Scorpio? I think you do. Ones. No, oh, oh, maybe no. you don't have a Scorpions. You I've never Jovi. heard it. You had uh, what's his I name never. there? <laughs> he has no idea what he. Has. Didn't I do like a Rock Me like a Patriot? Yeah. I thought there was yeah. a Rock in yeah. the Hurricane one. You did. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Fuck. All right, I'll just play. I'll play the one, and then yeah, whatever. I'm just okay. Let's get. Hey everyone, this is Chris, and just reminding you in the still of tonight to go to patreon.com slash bad movie night show and sign up for $2 a month. You get access to the exclusive bonus podcast pre show as well as other bonuses. That's patreon.com slash bad movie night show. All right, we are right. back. Red tea to discuss the red scorpion. AJ, what did you think? Yeah, Red Scorpion. It was a fun time. Um, a, a real action movie, as as real as we have gotten on this show for quite a while. I was surprised by how much action, honestly. Um, you know, a little bit of a, a strange choice of a halfway through the film flip redemption kind of moment, but, you know, whatever. You know, it's a Dolph movie. It's a B movie. Um, but generally... stay Soviet. Well... <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> not if it's a Reagan propaganda I guess film. Not. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. I, I really enjoyed it. I, I was fun watching a, a, a action movie that had budget, you know, behind it. Mm. It's good. Aaron. Yeah, pretty similar feelings to it as AJ. Um, it definitely makes a weird tonal shift like two thirds into the movie. We spend a lot of time wandering in the desert with with a Bushman, oh, Bush, Bush. I don't know. That guy was actually a real, he's a real person, yeah. a real Bushman. Yeah. He's a Bushman. They hired. And he would only work if he could include all of his like tribe of people with he him. He was like ninety something years 95 old. Ninety five years wow. old. Yeah. Holy shit! He doesn't look yeah. a day over eighty. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's why I'm gonna look at like forty two. Yeah, I, mean, I already kind of <laughs> look like that. He still has dark hair and everything. Like it's impressive. It's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, so, I mean, that part's kind of weird. It gets into this, it gets kind of cheesy for a little bit, where they're like, he's mm-hmm. making fun of Dolph because Dolph's an idiot, bumbling fool. And But overall, I really enjoyed the movie. Uh, Emmett Walsh is crazy in this. He's just like, fucking fuckers. I can fucking fucking say <laughs> yeah. fuckers. Yeah. Freedom of <laughs> speech, you motherfuckers. Yeah. He's, he's, he's every America. movie. You're a copy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that part, I mean, yes, this obviously has some propaganda. Yeah. Um, <laughs> A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But overall, I, I enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. Rebecca. Yeah, I liked it too. Nonstop action. I liked the part with the Bushman. I thought it showed the softer side of Dolph's character. <laughs> Plus, he got his sweet uh, scorpion Embossed tattoo thing. Yeah. scar thing. Um, yeah, I thought it was great. Big fan. Okay, Lindsay. Yeah, this one was a lot of fun. Um, I hadn't seen this Dolph before. I hadn't seen this Dolph Lundgren movie. Um, it's not my favorite Dolph movie, but it's got a lot of great things in it. Um, the ending is really fun. There's explosions like every three seconds <laughs> and lots of gunfire. And and I was worried that they weren't going to do something, but they ended up doing it. So I was very happy. We can talk about that later. Is that uh, short you take your shirt off? Put, putting uh, Dolph in the shorty shorts? <laughs> oh, no, you look like they... a UPS driver. <laughs> <laughs> no, they made me angry. Special delivery. Because he was Here's getting... package. <laughs> he was getting naked by the pond, and then the, uh... co- the communists fucking interrupted him. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That was, a, that was a funny scene. I know. <laughs> that was a funny scene. <laughs> all of a sudden, everything just explodes. I'm like, what the fuck's yeah. happening? <laughs> he's like, yeah, take it all off. And he's That's gonna... True. Yeah, he was going to. <laughs> we got robbed. You yeah, cool here. <sighs> yeah. What'd you think? Well, I picked this movie 
Uh, I went through the Dolph list on IMDb and picked one that we hadn't seen before and just put it on my <laughs> wheel. And uh, yeah, it turned out to be pretty good. I thought it was a little too long. That's yeah. my only complaint. Yeah. Uh, it was like what almost an hour hour 45 minutes which yes. is, it could it have, have been an, an hour and a half, half yeah. and been yeah. been much better but uh no i liked it it was, it was a solid story of nice effects it kept the action going the whole way through and then we got to see dolphin shorty shorts you can't go wrong well, what you want? Short, short. yeah what, what else are you gonna do mm-hmm. i didn't really like it <laughs> wow. really? <laughs> why do you like it i mean i like dolph I what what I feel like is a crime that happens a lot with Dolph is where like they just make him be so serious. He has no charisma. Like he's he does, he, he does, but they don't allow it. They're like <laughs> yeah, Dolph, you're yeah. too. They don't. For they fun. don't write for him. He mm-hmm. must be yeah. a robot. They try to. And, they try no. to just push him into a role. He just does actions. He like, doesn't. They act. want him to be a Terminator. I am Spitznes. Which he would have yes. been a fucking great Terminator. But he would have been um, an amazing. Yeah, Terminator. that's I mean, true. I guess he kind of was a Universal Soldier. True. But yeah. but anyways. This movie was so goddamn repetitive. How many fucking villages are these fucking assholes going to blow up? And we're all showing up too late. They blew them up in (sighs) all different ways. I know, and it was cool. Like, the action scenes are high effort and well done. Actually, I'm kind of with you, Chris. I thought this... It felt more like like an A team episode for the effects. What? Level. It, it wasn't like a big blockbuster explosion. Oh movie. no, they had some pretty, pretty big explosions, especially uh, at the beginning. Yeah, it was yeah. Like stop at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, I they, they had they had action and explosions, but it again, it just got so repetitive. Like this, I think the opening one with the car stuff was oh the that was amazing, fun yeah. adventure <laughs> kind of feel. It was yeah, Indiana, it was Jones. Like Indiana Jones. Yeah, and, and things were happening. But when they would just be like, "We're gonna blow up this fucking small village," and you're gonna see these huts blow up, I was like, "All right, blow up the huts." That Chris. got old. Dolph Lundgren wasn't allowed to have fun, so he was always serious. I did like Dolph when he was in his shorty shorts, braiding his, his 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 Dolphness around. I liked that. I thought the story was a bit confusing to me. I don't know anything about the politics, but apparently this movie's controversial because of that stuff. I, I had to look up, mm-hmm. like, was Cuba ever in Africa? Yes. And it, and yes, they were. And they, yeah, I didn't Ola. know that. It was essentially yeah. this movie, but but with uh, Namib- not Namibia, uh, Zambia or what? I thought it was yeah. in Angola. Angola, was there you Angola? go. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So I, I learned something. I didn't any, understand anything about that, but what I didn't understand was like <laughs> I thought like they were like sending Dolphin to kill these communists, but then he's no. a, he's Ooh. like a Soviet, no. he's, so he's a communist. He's, he's, so he's, 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 he's a commie. Spetsnaz. Yeah, he's, Which a, is, he's, he's a commie. He's yeah. Soviet special forces. Yeah. And they were sending him there to, as an. They weren't Murder. telling the Cubans really what they were doing. They said you're going to go in as an advisor. Don't tell him your Spetsnaz. And then there's this ruse. There's that great scene, one of my favorite scenes when he goes into the bar and just starts the bar was great. making the bar fucking good, yeah. trouble. Drunk like, off. I'm not mad, I'm out of bullets. That was a great line. Yeah. <laughs> so Chris, he, oh, was sorry, doing this on, he was doing this on purpose to get arrested so yeah. he could befriend uh, the guy who was going to lead him to the guy he's supposed to assassinate. Yeah. I got that. And yeah. all that I was invested in. Okay. okay. And when he went and, like, went and tried to do the assassination and failed... And then got sent back, and then the torture. And that's the where the Cuban movie lost me guy. because Cuban it's just torture? like. Then all of a sudden, he's wandering around having dream quests in the desert and shit. <laughs> they blew up like well, three different the, villages during that time. I was like, all right, I'm done. I'm out. Yeah. Like he was a man the, without he, a country. Yeah, the Soviets yeah, he gave turned up his on back him. on the Soviets, yeah. so now he, he, he had defected to, right to help the people that needed it. Yeah. Which is no offense. Stupid. He just like does that. No one's yeah. gonna actually do that. Like, well, that's the problem. Like, what about his family? What about yeah. like his entire life? It's like yeah, I don't think he has been. anything. His like, no. yeah. He's just an elite soldier. I don't know what a Spetsnaz is. I don't know Russian what that is. special forces. Yep. Yeah. Russian special forces. It's like a Green forces. Beret kind of thing. So was he Russian or was it the Soviet? Soviet, Union? Soviet okay. special forces. So it was the Soviets. So there's the a lot 80s. of. So my mind was churning. I'm like, well, I guess I need a fucking history degree to understand what's going on here. <laughs> no, it's not. It's fair, Chris. And, it's not. It's confusing. It's and not. So clear. I was confused. <gasps> like I got oh that he was God. undercover and trying. It's an to do action this. movie. Yeah. No, there, there's a yeah. They, there's a lot of politics behind it, but at, at at its core, it's a dumb action movie. Yep, it doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah. It is an action movie. I think. 
I think they could have improved it, though, had they, you know, he's in the village the first time and he has the change of heart. You can see in his head, but he still Mm -hmm. goes through with the mission. If they had him just not go through with the mission then and Mm. have the change of heart and just cut out the next 15 minutes, I think it would have been a better movie. Yeah, Yeah. and you're right. He doesn't need to go back. He doesn't need to get pins stuck in him by the Cuban guy. Even though he kills that guy pretty awesomely. Yeah, that was uh, a cool scene, though, because I've never seen anyone tortured like that in a movie. I can miss all those. It was good effects, and it too. Looked it looked really like they good. were sticking yeah. When it yeah. came out the well, back behind mm. him. Ugh. I think because they legit did that. Yeah. It looked real. No, but Tom Savini did the effects in this. Ooh, no. did he really? He was on the effects mm. team. Man, Tom oh. Savini was He's doing like, everything. Oh, yeah, that looks yeah, real. His face that looks so, so real. So real. <laughs> he gets off on that. Oh, Dolph. <laughs> My poor little Dolphy Dolpherson. I just wish he was allowed to like have fun and like do some cool one liners. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit. Well, we got a little bit of that with the bush man. A little and bit. And in the yeah. bar scene too. But well, he yeah. looked really young in this movie. But it's he it, doesn't have much dialogue at all, really. But it's <clears throat> it's hard to have fun when they're like killing all these innocent civilians and burning their village and shit. Like it's yeah. just dark stuff. Oh, that's that's the yeah. propaganda piece, I think. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. Soviets are evil. <laughs> this was it was funded by a South American group. Via Jack Abramoff's mm. uh, thing, I want to look it up again. But yeah, there was something about Mary? the funding actually came from. <laughs> yeah, it was channeled through some. Weird it was channeled thing. through some. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I did like in the beginning of the movie when he goes and shows up at the army base and they show the guy with the cool gun. Mm. Yes, like, yes. That, that was, cool. that was my yeah. thing. That yeah, was yeah, my that was thing. Cool. Because it was getting towards the end, and I'm like, the fucking gun hasn't come back yeah, hasn't yet. Where there. is the gun? And it they brought it back. Cool. Oh, I was it comes so back. happy oh, yeah. oh, when boy. he opens that door, and it's just there. I have that scene then. It had that- its own special room. Oh, the, scene, the, scene, the scene the BFG the guy 9000. With, the guy oh, with the yeah. grenade. Oh, yeah, I have that. We'll get there. Yeah, that we'll guy there. That guy kind of reminded Michael Ironside. Yeah, yeah he's like yeah. Yeah. Michael yeah. Ironside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cuban Ironsides. Yeah. <laughs> Senor Ironsides. Miguel Ironsides. <laughs> Miguel Ironsides. Yes, there you go. So, I don't know. I got bored. I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I did too, guys. I did too. Yeah, I, I agree with Chris a little bit because there were times when I'm like, can we just get back to the, the yeah. fun action stuff? Yep. Because yep. there were some boring spots in this where he's running around the desert or whatever. Mm. Um a lot of that stuff could have been condensed or cut out, but also there's there is a big bad in this movie, but he's not that good of a big bad guy. Yeah. He's he's fun and interesting, but the Russian but, with the Irish accent. Yeah, but it's, yeah. yes, but it's like I want Dolph to like go blow for blow with some big dude, you know. Mm. And Why that didn't Brian James? Yeah. It should have Brian James just be the main bad guy. I would argue that the bad yeah. guy is is the hind <laughs> helicopter. Yeah, I would, I would argue yeah. that it's communism. But, that's, that's a, that's <laughs> communism another, is a red herring. That's the other question I have is, is that really a hind chopper? Mm. It looks like, oh, one and is. like that's all. Well, Girl, oh, that's a hind. They would see the chopper that, all the time. It's not, though. It's not a hind. Because s- we couldn't. When, when in the 80s were we going to get a fucking hind helicopter? It's the Soviet you thing from Rambo 3. Here's the hind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a hind. That's no, the front. I, I, uh, I actually have no idea what you guys are talking about. What's a hind helicopter? It's that big gunship. The that big, they, fat, war gun. It's, it's, it's almost Russian, like the uh, co-star of this movie. MI-24. Okay. Yeah. Every I time mean, that came on, too, they like he would see it in the distance. They, they looked, hide from it. They didn't have to hide from the helicopter. It doesn't though. quite <laughs> look like weird, that, but it's somewhat close. Like, they're they're the good guys, killed? AJ. Because in guys. First Blood Part Two, they used a French helicopter and just added the wings. <laughs> um, so I, and this one looked a little janky too. So I'm like, I don't well, know. I, yeah. I don't I mean, they're think they're not they gonna. They're not gonna get a real one in 1988 exactly. and exactly. blow it up. Yeah. 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 And that's that's more than the 16 million budget. You're talking about at the end? Mm-hmm. I might be spoiling the end, yeah. Well, we'll get there. There's Lindsey Graham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I w- oh, He's like man. Lindsey Graham with the guy from uh, The Burbs with my skulls. Yeah. Oh, I forget that guy's name. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's great. All right, so let's go through this movie a little bit. I mean, I like the opening mm-hmm. where we get like shadowy images of Dolph and then he's brought into this corporate meeting and he's like very mysterious and seems like mm-hmm. a badass yeah, Lindsay Graham's cool. like doesn't shake the guy's hand doesn't shake and yeah. he looks cool no, he doesn't like the Cuban yeah mm-hmm. 
and carrying his grenades around. I'm spitz nuts. And, and I thought the movie was effective where, like, okay, I got it. We have the secret mission for him, and then they send him to this village, and then the next scene, he's, like, wandering around the town getting drunk, and I'm like, what? this is so out of character, because yeah. I would think somebody like him is super disciplined, never drinks, but then I was like, oh, I see what he's doing. Mm-hmm. He's embedding himself, which was cool. I was on board. That yeah. scene was really good in the bar mm-hmm. when he did all that shit. He was beating people's asses and stuff. <laughs> he was just so t- tossing t- people to the there. side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a badass. That's mm-hmm. totally Michael Ironside. And yeah. his whole... Miguel his whole, Ironside. <laughs> <laughs> his whole purpose for that, like we said, was to get in with the, the guy who was in jail, yeah. who is supposed to be one away from the leader of this resistance yeah. group. Second, right. second in command. Se- yeah. Second in command. But also a part of that group was the uh, American uh, reporter guy. The reporter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he was like trying to get the You fucking fucker. <laughs> yeah. Fucking A. <laughs> He kept Call playing the uh, 50s rock and roll. Yeah, he really yeah. loves, uh, is it li- Little, Little Richard? Richard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. they play that song from Predator like three times. It's not from yeah. Predator. It's from it's like the 50s. It's from Predator. <laughs> it's <though>. from Predator. <laughs> Predator came out. I only know. Don't worry, Predator. we're going to get into Little uh, Richard later on. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm uh, okay with that. <laughs> Rebecca, we don't want to hear about your Little Richard, okay? <laughs> Keep your Little Richard to yourself. <laughs> like, she's like, I, I obtained <laughs> exclusive colonoscopy footage of it. <laughs> Uh, that's um, a tootie for you. <laughs> and, okay, so that leads to like, I was like, okay, cool. We got Dolph, who's like this badass guy. We got this reporter who has a lot of uh, energy. We have the second in command. I'm like, we could have this buddy cop kind of trio uh-huh. going on with fun. And it almost feels that way in the first action sequence, mm-hmm. which I, again, I was said was, I think, the best one. Where they're escaping in the cars and he's just oh, yeah. all over and stuff. That was the, fun. Emmett I Walsh just, is is shooting yeah, and that was blowing all, that shit was cool. up too. <laughs> I read Dolph actually did the the stunts too. So like he jumped from the motorcycle to the truck. Nice. And, yeah. Dude, that's yeah. super dangerous. I, I actually when we were there was this <clears throat> where he like is on the side and he jumps onto the thing. I was like, that looks mm-hmm. real. It was. Yeah, it was. It, it was really badass. I wouldn't do that. There was supposed to be a whole different opening this to movie too, with him training in like Siberia or somewhere with a bunch of snow and <laughs> that would have been awesome. Cool. Uh, would have been really cool. I think it would have been a much better intro for this film, but mm-hmm. I think they cut it for budget <laughs> in a boring meeting room. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was a little disappointed at first. I'm like, uh oh, this mm-hmm. is gonna be. Especially when dis- you get. The, I was disappointed the when the trauma movie. screen came on. I know. <laughs> yeah, I heard so the music always, and I was like, "Oh fine, right? no, <laughs> that's always the worst." I thing. knew they had bought it because I had seen this movie. I was like, "The poster alone is better than anything Trauma's <laughs> ever done." Um, and then what happens? What happens? They they separated. get to the village. They meet the rebels. Mm-hmm. The rebel and the family, and there's like this moment where the wife is like freaking out. Killer, killer. You're not yeah, dead. You're Because well, he was supposed to get executed. Yeah, it right. was it was a rough sequence. And they like start attacking Dolph. And he's like taking the blame for a lot of things. Because he is to blame for Soviet a lot of the things. Yeah. 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 And it was hard to watch. And I was like, all right, all the fun has been evaporated from this movie. No more fun to be yeah. had. And that's it. Well, they, lock, they lock him up. And uh, you know how he escapes. How does he escape? He, he needs a Band-Aid. First, well, I because, thought he because he through the side of the fucking prison, the and you can see yeah. his fist print yeah. through the metal. I need a well, band-aid. that's why he needed Dolph a band aid. <laughs> need band aid. I mean, Dolph does attempt to kill the leader. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's the mission. Yeah, uh, but he, they, he they, the leader's too they smart. Set him up. He was ready for him. But uh, he's conflicted, though. I mean, when he's in the cell, he's like going over his. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was. They're, they're he, old, he throws yeah. his food yeah. on the ground. Mm-hmm. He's like, damn, damn it, I have to like, do oh, what I have to crap. do. I mean, that my duty. That is cool character, you know, moments. He, he spent time. He does see maybe they're not the enemy that they're made out to be mm-hmm. or whatever you want to say. And he has a change of heart, but he mm-hmm. still follows his command or whatever. Yeah, Cause the mm-hmm. guy at the beginning in the, the meeting is like telling him about the dude he's supposed to go kill. Mm-hmm. And he's like, this guy's a ruthless, bloodthirsty, whatever. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's oppressing a, the people. He's a warlord. Yeah. The, the problem I have is like, it's a cool character arc, 
but Dolph literally says three things in this movie and blows and up and kills everything else. So it's like, yeah, what kind of like, character would we have here? It is you, an action movie. Yeah, I know. All these but, movies it's, are. but it's so serious. That's, that's my that's problem. Most of his movies are at this era though. They're, they're mm-hmm. pretty serious. Mm-hmm. And yeah. And I think that's my problem with it. I want them to be fun and tongue-in-cheek. I want Commando. Yeah. I want Commando. I do, I do think it's in Dolph. Mm-hmm. Oh, he oh, can yeah. do it for sure. Like, I think he can be fun yeah. and, and, and silly in some ways. Yeah, but, yeah he's got several yeah. movies where he does exactly that. Mm-hmm. What's the movie like Showdown in Little Tokyo or something? I haven't seen that. Yeah, that one's fun. Um, he's really good in... Um, uh, Universal Soldier. I oh, think yeah, that's, one of, that. uh, that's one of the best things he's done. He's really good at that. Has he ever done a movie with Arnold? Uh, the um, Expendables. Expendables. Uh, Expendables. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. That doesn't yeah, count. Does I want count. to see his new Chelsea Grammer one he's doing. What? Chelsea Grammer? Chelsea Grammer and Chelsea Dolph or Lundin Kelsey? Are doing a movie? Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> <clears throat> Him and, yeah. Is it Frasier? But it's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's an action movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's him and match Arnold or Dolph? Dolph. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I don't see this listed. You're full of shit. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. I was looking had a dream about it. What's it called? Neighborhood Watch Paper Empire Wanted Man. Wanted Man. Mm. Showdown in Little Tokyo. He co stars with Brandon Lee. Wanted, Wanted Man. Man. It's gonna, right. gonna be good. Oh, it has Kelsey. It's gonna be good. Look at the poster. Pull the poster. And Michael pull, Michael Paré is in it. Pull the poster it. up. <laughs> Dolph Lundgren directed this shit. He Dolph directed it. Directed oh, it might be it. awesome. It's gonna be badass. He's Can we see this somewhere? He's mo- using those What's brains. Oh, it's like uh, what's that one? What's that one where Arnold is the cop? Look at that. This looks badass. Oh my god. What the fuck is Kelsey Grammer doing in this shit? <laughs> He's great, man. He needs the money. Is is he an action movie guy though? He could He's be. He's done. He's done roles like that, like yeah. the bad guy. Okay, this yeah. actually does look pretty cool. You ever watched The Boss? The Boss is like one of the best TV shows. I've never seen The Boss. Oh my Apparently. god, it's so good. Apparently, Kelsey Adolf Grammer's in it. Plays the mayor of Chicago, and he's like super corrupt and dirty. It's such a it's good show. It's not about Bruce Springsteen. <clears throat> no, afraid <laughs> not. Afraid not. <laughs> super corrupt. That's called the White Pony. <laughs> All right, so Dolph, Dolph gets caught. He gets sent back to the the, the the Soviets where they torture him, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. stab little needles in him, and then he escapes. Well, they're pretty big needles. Who's doing acupuncture? Yeah. They're acupuncturing him. They're trying to relax. You. And then he escapes, and he goes to the desert and gets scorpions on his back. He gets bit by one, too. Well, because yeah. He, he, yeah, he escapes out in the desert and has nowhere to go and you know, dehydrated and no food and all that stuff. And he wakes up, and there's scorpions on him. And that's and where the title him. comes from? Then they bite him and he gets uh, scorpion powers. Yeah. <laughs> well, but he also drinks the scorpion uh, mm-hmm. venom. Yeah. Scorpion venom. Well, that's after he's with the Bushmen, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I knew, when- I knew as soon as they introduced the Bushmen, I'm like, okay, when are we going to do this shamanic yeah, right. like, scene where mm-hmm. he drinks mm-hmm. the thing and has like, his ayahuasca? And, and it, to- yeah, and it's like, all right, it's so tropey. Maybe not in the 80s or whatever, but I'm like, we've seen this a million times mm-hmm. before. The movie that did it the best was <laughs> The Relic because it made a monster that they got unleashed in the museum. That movie was badass, starring Tom <laughs> Sizemore. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen. Tenet Degusta. Yeah, I love that movie. Uh, Did he get a sweet scorpion like yeah, relief on his skin? That's that heals. He turned cool. into a monster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that wait, eats Adam. that eats your but, pituitary gland. But, yeah, <laughs> 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 I don't know like that. Yeah, <laughs> but did he defeat the Soviets? Mm. He could have. <laughs> Maybe the monster was a Soviet. He could have. <laughs> the soviet museum in the museum in iowa but but in in doing all this like shamanic stuff dolph becomes one with the people i like when you say shamanic what am i supposed to say johnny i don't know shamanic's a real world is it 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 it's a real it's a real word shamanism shamanic though is that yeah yeah. i'm gonna look it up he he learns the ways of the bushmen and uh gets accepted then by the rebels and they tattoo him and give him okay i've never heard that before He's got his shamanism or shamanism is a religious practice that involves a practitioner, shaman or shaman Did interacting never, with the spirit what? world through altered states of consciousness, aka high as fuck. Okay, cool. Didn't know that. 
That's a pretty yeah, common word here. Yeah, surprised. it's pretty common if you have like a uh, you know high school yeah. shamanic <laughs> or some shit. I don't fucking know. You know I did a shamanic you're not very internship. Shamanic. <laughs> <I'm>, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Anyways, way to ruin the show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't matter anyways, because after all that, they're Holy like, what, shit. Up, what up for the Sean's next? Sean's uncle is a Peruvian shaman. What the Get him on the show. Get him yeah, on we want to learn all about shamanicism. But as soon as, <laughs> as, soon as they accept him, <laughs> they're like, what are we going to do? And he's like, we're going to kick some ass. <laughs> Tears and off his then, <laughs> Yep. Then, you then it becomes funny. Don't then there could have been no more dialogue. It could have just been heavy metal and just explosions for the next <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 yeah, It pretty much was. <laughs> yeah, it was actually pretty Let me badass. shoot your arm off. Let <laughs> and he gets the, uh, oh, he gets the showdown with, with Miguel Ironsides. <laughs> I, I think one of the things I didn't like is that it's too much of the same look all this outdoor desert it shit like, yeah. i just the outdoor desert yeah. stuff gets old to me it's an eight it's an eight team episode it's a budget yeah. thing it's yeah. a budget thing yeah when he had already blown the budget they couldn't spend anymore when he gets inside that building and kills the guy with the arm oh that was up, sweet oh. that scene was fucking Amazing. badass yeah it was <laughs> miguel ironside's holding this grenade thinks oh, it has man. So and Dolph just shoots, shoots it off. It down. Ah, <laughs> that is so, so cool. Good. It looks awesome. Oh, it looks great. So good. That looks, it looks really so good. good. Oh man, yeah. that's awesome. Tom Remember Sweeney. that? Yeah, like oh, five yeah. frames of that arm being blown off, and that looked badass. <laughs> mm-hmm. Tom Savini knows how to blow a guy's arm. <laughs> you know, apparently. Then ride motorcycles to the Renaissance Fair. So, like, what? That's true. <laughs> night, night, rider. night rider. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> Dolph goes back, he blows up the Miguel Ironside's arm <laughs> <laughs> and he drops the grenade and blows up. Then he, he kills Lindsey Graham mm-hmm. in a pretty badass way uh, blowing up the helicopter and now he just I guess lives amongst these people? Like what is, yeah. he can't go back home ever again. No. The Soviets are, are finished. He leads a shamanic right. lifestyle. The <laughs> rebels take over Angola wherever they're supposed to be yep. and the end. What happens to all Giant the Giant white man with the bush people. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they'd that's be like, my, that's my nickname in high there. school. The amount of fucking, like, we have to feed you is enough to feed half the people here. But because you're always lifting weights and you're like, keep macros, up with your, you're like, your, your yeah. protein intake. <laughs> Calorie deficiency. Exactly. <laughs> he killed that like, warthog with a stick. <laughs> So, uh, my worry would be his uh, skin is just going to bake in to the yeah. yeah that's that Swedish yeah. skin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true too. I don't know. It was fine. I mean, it's a, obviously a well-made movie, very competently <laughs> shot. The oh, action yeah, sequences yeah. are good. Dolph is always I like him no matter what, but I don't know. It just got old, got boring. Well, you got old too and long. boring. Well, yeah. Oh, I yeah. know. Tell me about that. <laughs> All right. Anything else, guys, with the Red Scorpion? The last line um, of the movie. So I watched with closed captioning on. Okay. There was okay. one closed caption that I had to write down. <laughs> it was when the um, the one village scene where the goats were being like rounded up. Mm-hmm. It said, "Continued cries as the goats existentially face their fate." Oh my that god! Is amazing. <laughs> that's awesome. Damn, that's gonna haunt me in my dreams tonight. <laughs> This oh makes, I think I found my new career. I want to be <laughs> somebody that transcribes this stuff and just adds in oh, nuggets yeah. like that. That's you got to add the flavor to really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Existential dread of a goat. <laughs> their feet. Yeah. That's good. Damn. Wow. And then we get the credits music with the artillery fire going over mm-hmm. 50 seconds. That was roll. weird, too. What's up with that? They just, re- they yeah, just cut part of the movie. And- about. Kept the audio in there. It was America, guys. America. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Using Russian yeah. weapons. <laughs> Whatever political no, by a Swedish guy <laughs> in Africa. <laughs> in South Africa. Get out of everything. Fighting the Colombians. <laughs> or not the Colombians. <laughs> the sorry. Cubans. Cubans, the Cubans. Yes. Whatever political message that they were lobbying for in this movie, I didn't even get. <laughs> Communism bad. Communism, Communism bad. bad. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Okay. <laughs> Military industrial complex, good. Blow things up. Good. Ding. Okay. All right. Anything else, guys? I think we should watch uh, the sequel. We There's should watch sequel. the sequel. Yeah. <gasps> Although there's no Dolph. 
No Dolph. No Dolph. No, no some, Dolph. Just some guy. Yeah. Just some yeah. guy. Just some yeah, I want, not I even want like Michael Duty Cops. Uh, I wonder yeah. when it came Dutty out. Cops. When did the second one come out? Maybe it's I Jeff it Wincott. I was going to yeah. say, <laughs> what <laughs> political <laughs> shit are they going to try to concoct for that one? It's 94. Oh, oh wow. Boy, that's, no, we shouldn't watch it then. <laughs> well, I like 90s movies. I can bring my wheel it's back. It's got a three point uh, five out of ten on IMDb and a seventeen percent on mm. Rotten That's Tomatoes. For us. Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Same uh, producers. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. AJ, would you recommend the Red Scorpio? Scorpio. Yeah, I think I'd recommend it. You know, it's a, a generic kind of action movie, but Dolph is always great on screen, and it was fun. Um, it did meander a little bit, and the story wasn't like you know fantastic, but I had a good time. I wasn't super bored. You know, the action sequences were fun when they were happening. So, if you like that kind of action, you know, then go check it out. Aaron, ditto. I feel pretty much the same way. It it, uh, it could use a little more character. It could be a little shorter, as we've talked about. I would love for Dolph to have a little bit more dialogue, but overall, it was it was called Dolph along. Dolph along. <laughs> yes, we want some shamanic Dolph along, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would recommend. You just it. set a spell. <laughs> <laughs> now you are Spesnaz. <laughs> yeah, I would recommend it as well. I thought it was a lot of fun. You gotta love Dolph, Lindsay. Yeah, I was worried there for a while in the middle, but then it won me back because it brought the gun back that they paid so much attention to at the beginning. They blew the guy's arm off, so they they totally got me back in probably the last 20 minutes. But yeah, I I would definitely recommend it. It is fun. Spiff. Yeah, I think it's a good one to have on in the background, like if you're doing something else, <laughs> but you have the movie going, because then you can look up at the cool parts. That's, yeah. That's true. Because there were a lot of slow parts in this, if we're being honest. Yeah. But it was still a fun movie. I'd recommend it. Kindergarten Cop 2. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's our next Ooh, Dolph movie. That's that would be I'm fun. Saying. That would be fun. I have yeah. not seen that. Neither have I. Bad comedy. Neither. <laughs> uh, this was fine. This is not like... <laughs> That it is fine. Whatever. If you're like, whatever. You don't know if you want to watch this crap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's move on. Harsh play man. game. Here we go. <laughs> game time, baby. Your theories are the worst kind of pop. You try to do your best to slot in your conclusions are hard to listen to. Shall we play? Oh, whoops. I That's cool. Dogs. I like that frame. <laughs> All right. Little Richard. Yay! Talk about Little Maybe. Richard. Since his music was in several different places mm-hmm. in here, I thought we'd dive into the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, and what year do you think <laughs> Little Richard was born? 1927. Oh yeah. 33. 31? 34. I'll say 30. Oh. Summer 5th, 1932. Oh, there you go. Uh, how many years was he married? Three. One. True was question. he ever married? I Zero. He no. married. Dude, he's using that AI thing. <laughs> 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 he's taxidermy, Chris. Oh. Uh, he was married for two years. Ah. Okay. Yeah, but it was <laughs> can't, all you can't hold a man like that down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, w- speaking of weddings, which of these celebrity <laughs> weddings did Little Richard not officiate? <laughs> Bruce Tom Willis. Petty, Bruce Willis, Bill Murray, or Cindy Lauper? <laughs> Bill, Bill Murray. Murray. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. Has Bill yeah. Murray ever been married? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know, but he would. That would yeah. I'm going Bruce Willis. Bill Murray okay. is the only one he didn't do. He Why was, is that a picture wow. of Tom Petty? Because that was one that he game? did. Yeah, duh. No. Yeah, he did Tom Petty, Bruce Willis, and Cindy Lauper. Yeah. I know. I want a picture of Little Richard not at Bruce Willis's wedding. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Uh, which Little Richard song was his first hit? Good Golly Miss good Molly, Johnny Be Good, Tutti Fruity, or Long Tall Sally? Long Tall Sally. Tutti Fruity. Tutti Fruity. Tutti Fruity. Because that sounds like some old people shit. Tutti Fruity was say back in the day. Tutti Fruity. What does it even mean? Is it like sex? It's like they have a Tutti Fruity. There's a, it's a woman. There's a couple different versions of it. Tutti Fruity? Uh, yeah, yep. it was Tutti Fruity. Tutti Fruity. Um, oh, originally, Tutti okay. Fruity uh, Booty, because it was yeah. about... Butts, oh. but he had to <laughs> <laughs> he had to change that because that was a little too risque for 1955. Yeah, Who doesn't out. like butts? Come on now. What are the lyrics of that song? So long time, it's, Sally. Uh, when Jeffrey or Rudy, to the free or Rudy. Yeah, they changed it to Rudy. A wop, a loop, a blop, bam, boom. Yeah. When is Long Tall Sally from? Long Tall. I got a gal named Sue. She knows. She knows just what to do. Seven. Okay. Okay. Got a girl named Sue. She knows yeah, his what lyrics to do. are not. Um, she knows how great. to love me. Yes, yeah. indeed. <laughs> uh, how many Grammys did Little Richard win over his career? Oh boy, three, seven, two. Actually, none. One. It was one, and it was a lifetime achievement <laughs> award. He didn't that actually win for any songs or albums. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Big yeah. influence, though. Big Huge influence. influence. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, and what year was Little Richard inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Oh, well, probably when they opened it. So 19... it 80, 86, 88? 1992. 2023, wasn't he just inducted? 1984. 1986. 86. Oh, wow. And what was Little Richard's net worth at the time of his death? Seven dollars. <laughs> Oh man, uh, 40, not a lot. Forty seven thousand. Yeah, two million. Very much. Two million. He's got to look at all those picture frames. You can no, that's yeah. why he has no money. He bought all the picture frames. Do you look at the framing on that? It's like three wide. That shit ain't cheap. <laughs> look at all the matting on that one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That matte ain't cheap. Son. That one doesn't even have a picture on it. No, exactly. it's just matte. It's called money. <laughs> <laughs> it's all mess show it off so, some people do pictures other people do sofas I don't know. <laughs> so it was 40 million damn wow. 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 Fucking think about million. like taylor swift yeah she's just worth like eight billion she's like this billion. is nothing yeah, yeah yeah that's true yeah but he made his money back in the 50s where yeah he couldn't yeah. make a lot of money with music. right when he actually uh the one fact i saw he lived in um the Hollywood Hyatt when he wasn't on tour. Like he didn't have a house. He just lived in the hotel. It's probably cheaper. Oh, it's probably yeah. 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 Right. Let's, 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 there you go. Let's, let's do an AI in the style of Little Rich. Oh, little no. Rich. Hurry up, lady. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chris at the Target checkout line. <laughs> This? this is like that's like a nightmare <laughs> this <is> music. Terrible. <laughs> this is some dog shit. All right, that was terrible. Yep. That Thanks for failed. ruining the show. Yep, ruin the show. You Thank you, Way Rebecca, you for that matters. game. Time to move on and do some listener feedback. So here we go. I suggest we read some listener feedback, sir. Make it so, number one. E mess. You tiny little e mess. You precious little e man. Where are you? Last week we kicked off the new year by checking out Witchcraft 15, Lair of the Bloody Rose. Oh, yeah. Witchcraft. Oh, yeah. RJ Skarenki, the new intro Nailed. kicks ass. Great job, Bad Movie Night. Hell Great yeah. job, Chris. Nice job, Hell Chris. Yeah. Uh, he also says the last witchcraft is called Hollywood Coven. I don't want it to end. Uh, I, no. I, do, I do. I do. Well, yeah. it has to. Jeffrey Long, when I heard Red Scorpion was next, I got instantly aroused and excited. No, he just said excited. Because my mind made me hear <laughs> Black Scorpion, which is a woefully bad Roger Corman superhero flick, which would be hilarious to subject you guys to. But alas, Get it on the wheel. It's not that movie. Put yeah. it on the wheel. Is Jeffrey Long a Patreon? Because if you are, Jeffrey, you can make that suggestion. He probably is, but Chris never added him because Chris doesn't check him out. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the back on the slack? Too much work. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. I think I, I, I looked through it. I think we're good. 
75 people. 42,000 <laughs> missed messages. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's they have that like 75 team. iTunes reviews. <laughs> so, so we have like, okay, so like one week ago, like three people joined as free members. I don't even know what that Free means. members? I think you can sign up and you can see posts. We lost Mojo John. John, oh. he. That's because he never I did add him. him. I'm pretty sure I had him. <laughs> <laughs> Never had it on. John, if if I didn't add you, just message me and I apologize. I'll make it right. <laughs> He'll make it right. How out. free membership works. The option for members to join for free <laughs> is replacing the followers feature. Fans who previously following your page will become free members in your relationship manager. These free members will appear without their email address. Okay, then. What the hell am I going to give them? Nothing. What, is, what do I give? A f- oh, we have so many free members. How many? <laughs> I'm like 15. <laughs> so many. What do I do though for them? Like, 15? what is that? Wait, you say, Ian you is say, one of them? Yeah. What is Ian? Why is Ian in there? <laughs> what the fuck? Say is thank you on? very much. All right. Oh, so uh, basically they can connect without using an account. Okay. Even if they don't pay, they don't have to create like a, a, a Patreon account. Okay. All right. That's cool. Okay then. Jeffrey Long also, uh, he hopes Red Scorpion was just as painful for us, you know, for our entertainment. <laughs> I, it wasn't painful. It wasn't. No. Mm-hmm. No. Black Scorpion Roger Corman, though. That, that can't I, would be, def- uh, I know what that is. That's like a woman who's like a superhero thing, right? Mm-hmm. I think I've seen oh, well, that. Hey, that sounds that fun. cover before. It'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, Jinx says, there's an intro? Just kidding. Love the new one. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon to Betamax. Deuce, deuce, twice the dictator. <laughs> because, yeah, because Aaron said uh, deuce instead of il duce. I did, <laughs> didn't Mussolini. I? <laughs> I wasn't prepared at all. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Dave Black. I'm with Chris on this one. It was hilariously bad. Like in 14, Bruce is the best part. He's so bad and cheesy. A real himbo. Who's Bruce? What is a himbo and who is Bruce? A male bimbo. Who's Bruce? She's talking about uh, Will Spanner. I think she's talking about Will Spanner. Alternate uh, title: Boob Spray, The Thickening. What is <laughs> it? Oh my god! <laughs> what himbo so is an attractive gross. but unintelligent man? Yeah. Oh, oh I know all about those. Yeah. I'm a himbo. Like a Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bimbo, but with him, I got you. You're a hobo, Chris. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 to be clear, tater I said tater 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 hobo with a bee. for hash browns. You get the tater tots on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I've yet saying. to see Chris hopping on a locomotive. <laughs> 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 boxcar jesse magers i'm like 15 witchcrafts behind but we'll catch up no, you're oh not. god <laughs> it's been nice knowing you jesse <laughs> yeah happy birthday spiv you had a great birthday wheel though i couldn't have rewatched zardoz that's a one and done <laughs> oh that's a classic guys a Dolph movie is the perfect level of mainstream for the podcast looking forward to it oh yeah that's right uh, ho- hopefully out. we get some viewers right um, do Matthew Pfeiffer? Don't feel bad, Chris. The discussion on Skibbity Toilet was the first I've heard of it. I had to stop Weird hanging out in middle shit. school parking lots for reasons that. my lawyer said I can't talk about. Side note: the skincare routine girl is Darcy, the male girl from Joe Bob Briggs Drive-In. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. There you go, Paul Lilienthal. Was thinking that it could be cool. If, whenever we think we aren't being descriptive enough for audio-only listeners, then we could stop and make AJ describe the scene in the style. Oh, we did it again. Hole. We didn't describe anything. What? Yeah, we, we got to describe stuff. stuff. No. We no. Describe stuff. stuff. What did we describe? We talked Be- about the Miguel arm. Miguel Ironsides holding and... a grenade. And Dolph yeah, shoots the gun and his off. arm goes... The ghosts are running oh, away and because they don't want bloody. to see their fate. The existential <laughs> They're facing existential doom. <laughs> <laughs> their cries this can be a lot to narrate Red Scorpion. Do you hear the goats, Clarice? <laughs> is that it, Spiff? That does it for our listener feedback, guys. If you want me to read your comment in a humorous way, you have to leave a comment down in the thingamajigger. And like and subscribe and sign up for Patreon so you can come and hang out with us on the Slack. All that stuff. All right. It is time. Ooh, Wait, there's a lot of oh there's a lot God. of oh, there's so what many many on there. Time for the wheel. 
Are you guys ready? We What's got on the wheel? What's on this wheel? I don't even know. What oh, no. Be. Left Behind with Nicolas Cage? We got Master Blaster. We got Skeleton Man. We got Oof. Dark World. We got oh. Left Behind. We got Christy. We got Black Roses. And I don't know what this one is. I thought we were going to put some new stuff on here. The one is. <laughs> this is what this is a Patreon. This right. is Patreon. Well, Sean house. said he added. Uh, yeah, I reloaded the wheel. So it should have Matthew F- Fiefers. Cool, cool. All right, let's spin her. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Fiefer? Oh, on the one. Oh my gosh! Oh, what is this? Oh, 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 oh fuck yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah yeah yeah! yeah. I hear some oh, yeah. yelling. <laughs> yeah, pro wrestler what? zombies it's got Roddy fucking Piper in it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Wait, nice. I thought this year we were doing something different. I thought, I thought we were doing were like uh, kind of mainstream movies, right, Shot. guys? <laughs> this is. This is every a other week. Like, yeah, it's pro oh, wrestlers okay. zombies. Pro wrestlers versus zombies. Oh, versus zombies. That might be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty. AJ's not here next week. Anyways, no, I'm not here. But I'm gonna Roddy Piper alive Roddy? in 2013. Yeah, I think it was right yeah, before he died. Nice. It's the AI version. <laughs> All right. They de-aged him. Uh, I guess we should get Ian on. Let's check out this trailer. Yeah. He's a wrestler. Oh yeah, all, it's got all the wrestlers. Kurt Angle. Are you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Principalities of Darkness. There's an eye for the first. Limited liability company. We got just a not... private gig. Oh, oh, God. This looks horrible. Oh, no. oh sweet baby. Oh Christ. my God, there's sweat blocks. There's audio only in the left channel. Yes. <laughs> why, yeah, why is it only on my left side? Somehow the visuals are worse than the audio. Dude, this is awful. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there's the zombies. The metal's coming oh, in. Oh, Are those the pro wrestlers or the zombies? The soundtrack's good. It's like old school metal. That's Ace of Spades. I know this song. That's uh, is that Exodus? Whoa! Nice, Aaron. Aaron, oh, stop! <laughs> this looks awful. I can't wait. It does look awful. Oh, hacksaw Jim Duggan. Kurt Angle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just okay, this might actually be kind of fun. It's really stupid. Right. It's gonna be silly. Yeah, it's gonna be sure, really yeah. low budget. All right, so pro What's wrestler versus zombies. What's this on? That's a good question. It, it is on Tubi for free. It is on Plex. It is on Peacock. Nice. It is out there. Peacock. It stars the one only Roddy Peeper. Uh, it is minutes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wish. Yeah, if it's more than an hour and ten, I don't know. It says it's an hour and thirty-one <laughs> minutes. It's got a lot Ooh. of credits. All right. Directed yeah. by one Cody Knotts, <laughs> who did a movie called Trans Substation Nation, which looks like a movie that AJ That's would make favorite. us watch. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this, even though it looks awful, but I don't uh, anything for the Piper. The Roddy Piper. Uh, also known yeah. as Ass Goblin on Slack. <laughs> Who's Ass Goblin? Matt, Matt, no. Matt Pfeiffer. Piper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper. <laughs> I, thought this, I thought you said this was Matthew Pfeiffer's wheel pick. That's why I thought you were talking about the Pfeiffer. No. No one's talking about the Pfeiffer. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Roddy Piper? Not Piper? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Roddy yeah. Piper, Aaron. Anything for yes, Piper. That's right. Piper. That makes more Piper. sense. Piper. Not Ass Goblin. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Just put the music back on, all right? Was that Exodus or Overkill or something? It sounded like that. I heard that like It sounded like modern Motorhead, but with... It was bad, but it was good. It was bad. All right, guys, that's it. Oh, Paul says it's accept. Okay. That was it. Okay. That's it for this week's episode. I'm guessing Ian will probably come on because... He loves wrestling, or at least Stacy, yeah, or Stacy, yeah. We need a we need a wrestling expert because I know nothing about wrestling. Zero. Uh, that's it, guys. We hope you enjoyed the show. This was our first episode doing it through a restream. I feel like there was a little bit of things to work out, but it, it worked well. for the most part. Yeah. Worked pretty well. Yeah, yeah. A bit, quite a bit better. No one glitched the image. Yeah. The 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 sound and hopefully the image is better uh, from Streamyard, but. If you like the show, go to the iTunes, leave a review that helps out the show. Consider joining the Patreon, patreon.com slash badmovienightshow. Get your movie on the wheel. Get on that Slack. 
Somebody will put you on there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and get and access to the pre-show and all that fun stuff. Yeah. And then we're going to catch you here next week, guys, when we watch the 2014 action horror comedy yeah. film Pro Wrestlers versus Zombies. Okay. Zombies. All right, everybody, have a good night. Good bye. Thanks for listening to the Bad Movie Night Podcast. The Bad Movie Night.